Hey everyone, we're finally here. It's update day. This took so much longer than I thought it would, but thankfully all you guys that have sent me bugs to fix, uh, super awesome support from Tapspace and from everybody at Dorco, we have a great update. Let's start off by making sure that everything is up to date. This was one of the biggest challenges for me. I was trying to support too many versions of things and I decided that I can't do that as a one-man shop at this point. Moving forward, it's just gonna be the latest version of Contact and Virtual Drumline and Dorico that I will continue to update, though the older files might work uh, and I'll keep those available. But for this update, you will need Virtual Drumline, 2.5.6, Contact 8, you can use either the player or the full version. And this was written on the latest version of Dorico. And that's all you will need to start a new file. There's a few steps to get your old file up to date. Here you'll see this is the basic template dated 12.12.24, and we are gonna update this file. First, we're gonna update the playback template. You're gonna go to play, playback template, Import, and you're gonna import VDL2 playback template K8. Open, and I already have this one, so I'm gonna overwrite. Then you're gonna select it here, hit apply and close. This might take a second if you have lots of instruments and you'll see that the play button and record will go gray. And when it comes back to green, you're good to go. The other thing that you'll want to do to update is go to library, library manager. This is a really cool feature. It shows you all the differences between factory settings and the project that we have right now. But what we wanna do is compare the current project, which is this VDL2 basic template, to the new one. So I'll find my new file, and you can see here this is the 2.2, open, and now it will show me everything that's changed. So for instance, these pedal lines have changed. You can even search just for differences here. If you pop down, it will tell you the difference. It used to be after note onset, and now it is before note onset, meaning that your pedal notation will work the first note and not later. You can also see which expression maps are different, music symbols that have changed, note heads, percussion instrument data, playing techniques, and all this stuff. It's really easy to change all these really quickly, or you can go one by one, but if you wanna just do everything right away, just clicking this right here, turns everything green and will update the project completely. So just hit apply and close and you'll be ready to use the new update. I'm sure there'll be more bugs to find and I appreciate all the hard work and time that everybody has done and the support. Uh, more awesome things are coming very soon. So thank you again and I hope you are enjoying this update as much as I am happy to have it done.